Hey everyone, Sean Forney here. Today I'm going to do a quick little farm video. I do most of my videos about cars and equipment, but I figured it would be a good time to introduce you to uh, our Scottish Mini Highland cattle. So we have been anxiously looking at other animals besides dairy goats, and we have honeybees, and we have horses, and fainting goats. Um, and my wife and I have been looking for years for uh, a reliable mini highland breeder well come to find out there's just not really that many of them that are actually care about the genetics and all that other good stuff that go into breeding mini highlands so we finally found some of our own and we decided that we are going to breed them so if you want to stay up to date with our mini highlands you can visit my wife's facebook page it's stony s-t-o-n-y spring farm on facebook in west virginia and you will see pictures of our progress and all that good stuff so we're going to go down and see them we have two heifers right now and we are getting a couple more here very soon so stay tuned i'll introduce you to our mini highlands so down here we have butterscotch who is nine months old she is the red color and then we have daisy may who is the blonde, or yellow as they call her. And we're still looking for a dun or silver color. But what makes a Highland a mini is obviously their height. You can see that these two are pretty short. We think Daisy's gonna wind up being more of a mid, probably 38 or so inches. But Butterscotch here is more than likely going to be a miniature. So our mini horse, which I wish I could see her as a reference point, is 31 inches. So we think we think Butterscotch here will probably wind up being somewhere in the neighborhood of 34 to 36 inches. At least we hope so. But they're, they're friendly as can be. They were both bottle fed. And you probably wonder how they can see. Say hi for the camera, Butterscotch. Um, but they... Uh, you know, they do a great job. They have horns. Even the females have nice long horns. Um, but they are super friendly. Daisy is still on the bottle and she is a rambunctious little baby. And on the bottle, she had sunburn on her eyelids. So we have to treat her sunburn, huh? Oh, don't be skittish. I don't have a bottle, which is why you don't like me right now, huh? So... So Daisy May right here is only five months old and she's still in the bottle. She'll be getting weaned off very, very soon. But you can see her hair is finally starting to grow out pretty well. But, and you see butterscotches is nice and nice and long. They get this beautiful long hair and they really just look like these big shaggy cows. And obviously they're more focused on eating than worrying about uh, me standing here right next to them. But all of our mini highlands as we continue to develop our breeding program will get lots of love. They'll all be halter trained. And right now we're starting with these two and we're looking for um, actively pursuing other options. Again, there's just no miniature breeders around us. So we decided to take it on ourselves. So. It's going to be a fun undertaking developing our Stony Spring Farm miniature highlands, but we figured there's no better time than the present to get started. So again, this is Daisy May over there and Butterscotch, and they are cute, cuddly, long-haired, and super small cows. So everybody make sure you like our page, subscribe. I'll also do more videos on these gals as they continue to get older and develop, and then obviously next year or whenever we're able to breed them when do we when they have their cute little babies and then as we welcome more miniature highlands to our farm thank you all so much 